What's up, my people? Mr. Al Pete with April Visuals. We're here with April Visual Review. And today we have Comica VM10 Pro Shotgun Microphone, all right? Make sure you subscribe. We're finna get into this review. All right, so you already know, please make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get them updates and get more of the April Visual Reviews, all right? And go to aprilvisuals.com. We will have a full breakdown of everything on the blogs, all right? So let's get into breaking this down and seeing what's in it, all right? I'm trying not to, uh, I'm trying not to sing the song. Especially if we're gonna send it to the cop. <laughs> oh, whoa, okay, okay. First off, first off, first things first, the case. Any 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 technical or equipment that comes with a case is it's, it's an automatic plus, all right. And then two, it's a hard case too. It's not not saying that every case is is flimsy, but y'all already know the ends of it. So even if it drops, the the, the product inside is gonna be good. So this is this is a major plus right here, major plus. And it looks slick too. It'll match with everything else because usually all the equipment is black. So this is this is it's slick. All right, so we got the mini. So the case is, uh, is, is it's, it's solid, y'all. It's solid, it's, it's, it's holding it in. Look, I'm holding it sideways and the, and the equipment is still tapped in. So it's not gonna fall out or nothing like that at all. And I mean, look, this is a win for me, y'all. This is a win, this is definitely a win. All right, you got the, the grip. So this grip here is definitely going to hold it in place. Let me see if I can get this out real quick. It's too tight in here. <laughs> there we go. All right, man. So you got the uh, shotgun microphone. It's a MIDI. Of course, you know, when you on set, they have, of course, they have longer ones. But this is really good for mobile um has a windshield uh windshield on it so um and it's steel as well that's a plus as well so it's going to stay in place when it's hooked up to this part so let's see all right so so it definitely grips pretty good on that um it's going to make sure that the sound is being captured correctly um you'll probably hear a little bit of wind but we're going to test that out later on in the in the, in the video so all right, we have this. Oh, speaking of wind, this is your wind protector right here. Put it over over the microphone so it can capture. So it can make sure it doesn't capture all the the excess sound around it, the ambiance. I mean, you'll get a little bit of ambiance, but it won't be to the point where it's uh, overbearing. So you have that. All right, so right now we're going to go into the cables that come with this. The first cable that we have is USB-C, so it can hook up to, hooks up to this, but it can hook up to your laptop if you have, if, if it's compatible with uh, USB-C. Uh, USB kind of short, but it's fine. I mean, you still be able to do podcasting, gaming, or whatnot. All right, our second cord, our second and third cord is basically our audio cables. Um, they ASTN. So basically you can plug it up to the back of it and be able to, oops, I'm sorry, and be able to plug this up into your camera and you can actually plug this up to your phone. So if you're a uh, Android user, <laughs> you'll be able to use this, but um, it limits it if you have an iPhone, but they have cables for that. So that you, you have to get those separately. Um, yeah, so these are the two cords. This seems like they give you two, extra cords so having extra cords for these type of uh, appliances is definitely great definitely recommend that so on this microphone you have um, the volume button which is pretty cool to turn up um, yeah of course you can turn it up all the way up or you can turn it down so of course if it's down you're not gonna be able to hear you know hear nothing coming in so you want to make sure that you at least have it at 12 o'clock so you can make sure that any audio is uh, is up for me, I do a lot of podcasts, so I would definitely recommend 
making sure that you're recording this and having a backup, okay? I always, I always say backup, backup audio. Have one main audio and then the other backup. Me personally, I would probably use this as the main backup, but when you're mobile, this is definitely going to be a good sure shot. So make sure that this audio is definitely at 12 o'clock. And you can turn it up depending on how you want to do it. And also, the plug back here, you're able to plug your headphones on it. So if you want to listen to what's going on, make sure that you monitor the, the audio. Plug your headphones in. Boom, you can listen to what somebody the, what's somebody is saying around you. And the big part about this that I notice is the digital and the analog action. Um, when it comes to digital and analog, you want to think about digital as... <laughs> In simple forms, you would say digital would be modern day and analog would be, you know, back in the day. So um, depending on your style of audio that you would like to uh, record, if you want to do analog and have that analog uh, record player type of feel to it, it'll have like one channel that you can go to it. So you can switch it over to analog. But if you want to do digital, which we prefer because most of your cell phones, most of your cameras, most of your laptops, they are from a digital, they pick up digital audio, regardless if it's mono or stereo. You switch it over to digital and you'll have a very crisp sound. All right, right now we're gonna do an example of the audio. So we're gonna be using this microphone that's on me right now. And at the same time too, we're gonna to give you a test of what this little boy can do, all right? All right, so the microphone that you're hearing right now is the Comic Kaboom XD Pro. This is the one that's mic'd up to me. So you hear this, it's quality, so it's going, you know, the microphone's going with me here, there, everywhere, all that good stuff. Now the audio that you're hearing right now is from the shotgun microphone. So you hear it, um, I want to come a little closer so you can see, hear me, da 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 da, one, two, check one, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, can y'all hear me? When I'm over here, can you hear me, can you hear me? <laughs> hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me. All right, so I did that because um, it is a, a a dynamic microphone so the dynamic will pick up all the stuff around it so everything that comes around it is going to come back to the middle part so you can hear it all right so this is the review so what does al pete think of this so overall i feel like it's a great microphone let me do a correction real quick so when you're hooking this up to the to your camera you have to have it in analog mode and it still gives you that crisp sound but it still gives you that the the, the natural aspect of it so I want to make sure that y'all know that please put it on analog when you um, plug it up to your camera but when you're doing cell phones and laptops etc that's when you put it on digital and that's how you're going to get the best efforts of that but i feel like this is a great a great product i i, I dig it i dig it i, I love the the mounting of it i love having uh, the variety of cables one thing i would i would say could be a little bit different is the knob on top of it um, it's, it makes it difficult to turn the volume up and down, but nevertheless, when, you know, it has, it has grips on the side, but if it was maybe a, a button that was kind of protruding a little bit, I think it would be good to, to do it, but it still is a good factor of it. Um, it definitely gives great sound. I think it gives you great options. I, I love the USB-C action of it. I do love uh, being able to plug up your headphones to it and listen to it. Another thing too that I'm very sold on is this case right here. This case is beautiful, y'all. This case is beautiful, it's sturdy, and th uh, the product isn't going anywhere. And lastly, it's budget friendly. I, I mean, it's a great investment. If you're a podcaster, you wanna grab stuff in the field. Um, if you're doing a photo shoot and wanna get some behind the scenes, this is definitely great for behind the scenes work. And also, just being able to uh, to vlog on the, on, the, on the go. You can definitely plug it up to your phone, which I think is a plus. You can go live on your phone. I mean, it, and it just gives that very great quality versus it being just from like the camera or from the, the built-in microphones. You get a professional microphone that's hooked up and, and, and it's good. So it is a very great budgeting thing. Only 50 bucks, man. Go get that thing right now. Get it right now. Get it right now. All right, that's it. For today, y'all, April Visual Reviews. Thank y'all for having me, man. Thank y'all for coming and checking this out. For a more extensive breakdown of this, please go to the blog, which is at aprilvisuals.com. Again, aprilvisuals.com. Please make sure you subscribe so you can get all the updates on the videos that's coming. And yeah, man, um, I'm going to go and use this somewhere. It's Mr. Al Pete, the NPN Network, man. Thank y'all so much to the top.
Audio visuals review. We're gonna do a breakdown. Oh. <laughs> Ten Pro or Comica Pro BM2. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. This is definitely outtakes. Shit. And I got the phone. You got it? Yeah. Ah, that kid, that uh, Kip Monroe boy. <laughs> Kip Monroe coming soon, 2024.